10 inch ultra series PRV speaker. Is this PRV's most underrated speaker? What does it look like? How much power can it take? Most importantly, how loud can it get? Stick around for the full video. We are not gonna sugarcoat nothing. We can actually physically see what this guy does with a minimum of 200 watts to 1,000 watts on this bad boy, man. Let's get it. PRV man has a line of awesome loudspeakers, mid-range, mid-bass, anything that you can imagine loudspeaker wise but today we're going to go ahead and talk about the 10 inch auto series mid we are going to be doing three different types of testing with the 10 inch mid we're going to be doing a free air test uh just with the speaker just sitting uh, on its magnet maybe firing forward on probably 200 watts after that we're actually going to go ahead and put we put in a prv auto series 10 inch we're going to see what it does in this ported uh 10 inch box with 200 watts as well too follow me over here i'm going to show you the last test we're going to do with the 10 inch auto speaker today the last test and i feel this is going to be the best test that i could possibly do with that auto series prv speaker you're going to actually go ahead and remove one of these delta 10s replace it with that alto and really hear the difference with some real deal power on it how loud or how cleaner or what's the difference between between the eminence delta 10 that i actually have in my door panels that i built feel free to drop any questions in the comments let me know what you guys think of this alto series or if you feel that there's a better speaker out there that i should give a review on um for you guys man let me know in the comments But before we actually get into the test, follow me over here to this other little table I got set up and let's talk about something that you can possibly get for free, man, just really quick. I was going to do a hot chip challenge so you can win these 10 inch sundown subwoofers, first, but I'm going to go ahead and scratch that idea off. I really can't believe I was getting ready to give these subwoofers away for free for people doing the hot chip challenge that don't even watch my videos to people that don't even support the channel guys and not talking bad about the people around me but I'm gonna just be realistically speaking if I have local people around here probably 10 people only really watch my channel here and there now versus you guys man you guys take time from your day um, you, some of you guys have been here from the beginning, um, some of you guys came midway or even just a few weeks ago and you guys have been currently active on my channel man so why not give you guys some free stuff. But I want to give these subwoofers to actually real deal active subscribers. Um, I actually know who watches the videos, who's always in the comments. In order to win these 10 inch subwoofers man, and both of them at that, man you have to be an active subscriber guys, you know just bottom line. To simply win these subwoofers, man, like every single video that I drop, drop down a comment in the videos, man, drop the speaker emoji in the video. Not just in this video, man, every single video that we drop till we hit 10K subscribers, guys. And I wanna see everybody active. I wanna see 100 likes or better on the videos every time we drop them. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys, or not. We're on the road to 10K subscribers. And with all that being said, let's get back to today's video. All right, so enough waiting, man. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and let's see what the speaker actually does. This is not a PRV sponsored video, but man, if you guys want to go ahead and tag PRV in the comments so they can go ahead and send your boy a bunch of badass uh, PRV equipment so we can give honest reviews on them, man. Man, tag them, blow them up, man, like crazy. So right off the bat, man, we have a nice black coated paper cone with the PRV logo. To let you know, man, this is a good brand. Uh, the basket is actually black and this guy is pretty beefy at that guys man. This thing is a very very nice uh, Perfectly built loudspeaker the magnet right here has a nice rubber gasket around it with the PRV logo. Now, one thing that I will say in the area that I am at in the state of Florida uh, PRV it is one of the most used speakers and stunt walls door panels um, all the way around um, so I've, I've actually personally heard what these speakers can actually do when you put true deal uh, real deal power on them uh, and stunt walls and pe when people go and compete and sound off against others these things will get your sound system loud get you where you want to be and if you are the type of person that competes with the stunt walls or door panels man these are definitely going to help you uh, win every battle every single time so, you know no questions asked 
So when I actually went ahead and opened this speaker from the packaging box, there was not a spec sheet uh, inside there, but pretty much the whole specs of the speaker are in the back of the magnet, man. Let's so check it out. These are pretty much some quick specs of the speaker. Um, this is the model number. It is the 10 W650A4. 4 stands for 4 ohm. Uh, up here you have the PRV logo, then you have the website, uh, and then right here we have the Ultra Series, which is the line of these speakers. They do have the line that it is the MB, the MR, uh, but this is the Ultra line right here. RMS power, what can take all day is 325 watts. Uh, you can put a continuous of 650 watts um, that can handle all day as well too. But if you guys want to go ahead and put this guy to the max, 1300 watts at the most that you can actually put on this guy. Can it take that power? Man, honestly, I have seen guys actually put a 3000 watt on just two of these tens. And I have yet to see those things blow out. And man, when I tell you those things are talking and are loud, man, those things are definitely putting in some serious, serious work. The thing that I could say that could use a little bit more improvement, the speaker all the way around, it is a perfect speaker, but it could, if it could just fix this one little thing, man, this speaker right here uh, would just do its own talking. Um, and this thing would be really a big dog speaker, but it is already a big dog speaker. Don't get me wrong, but it could, if it could just fix this one, one little thing, Man, this thing, it, it, it would be crazy. If PRV could actually go ahead and switch these uh, speaker inputs into just the push ones, uh, man, this speaker right here would be phenomenal. I will say, and it has happened to me, and I'm pretty sure it ha ha has happened to a lot of people, when you're, you know, in your motion uh, doing a sound system competition, or if you're just uh, riding around with your sound system banging, um, you got your mids and highs uh, talking all they can go. Um, the last thing you want is to have uh, a terminal fall off. Um, then you know you're 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 you know scrambling to see what's going on. And at the end of the day, it's because one of the terminals had fell off. Although if you do proper installation of your speaker terminal, uh, it will not fall. But if you got some crazy bass, or if you have these things doing massive mid bass um, going on meant that speaker terminal just like everything else that vibrates it's going to vibrate and then little by little it will fall off and then you're going to scramble to see what is the problem and at the end of the day it's because the terminal fell off so if brv would actually go ahead and fix that not saying that they have to do it but if that was an option to put those push terminals in here man this speaker would be above and beyond and better than all the other speaker brands that are out there um, some of them do put the uh, push terminals in i know prv does put that on the mb series i think maybe or i know it's one of the series and i saw six inch prv with them um but these guys right here if they would actually go ahead and just take that extra little detail into mine man i'd be sold on just doing these speakers all day long it says to put 325 watts on this guy maybe some 650 you know rms power but the most that you could actually put is 1300 watts but here at this channel guys man we push all the audio equipment to the max I actually have 500 watt speakers um, and I have four of them so what's that 2,000 watts and I actually go ahead and put 5,000 watts on them you know I like to push stuff to the extreme limit to see what it actually do um, can it blow yes but if you respect it it's gonna last you a long time enough of us talking about the speaker man let's actually see what this guy can do man let's start some testing we're gonna go ahead and do the free air test where we're actually just gonna hook up a uh, speaker wire to it and just play it like this. And then we're gonna put the Ultra in this speaker box that is ported and with the same amount of power, 200 watts, maybe 250. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to my door panels, take one of the Eminence Deltas out, replace it with that Alto, uh, and see what it physically does next to another speaker with the same amount of power. Man, let's get to the testing. Take 
not gonna go ahead and lie. Uh, that actually sounded all right. It wasn't the best, but now let's actually go ahead and put that Ultra Mid inside the speaker box and see what it does now. Much, much better. Uh, definitely keep in mind it's only 250 watts. Definitely not tuned for, for, for perfection right now. Um, we're just trying to give a quick little test. But right now, uh, my truck door panels are actually set in stone. They sound pretty good. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and swap one of the speakers out uh, and put one of these bad boys in and compare it with both of them to see which one is louder. Drop down in the comments, man. What did you think? Free air versus speaker box. Um, definitely definitely you hear the difference in the tone once we actually put it in the box itself uh, a lot of these stunt walls that they have nowadays man everything's put in a box even if it's a mid-range or a mid base man everything always sounds better when it's an actual real deal enclosure even though it's a mid-range speaker or a mid base speaker man a speaker always should belong in its enclosure uh, if I would actually go ahead and redo the door panels in my truck I would actually go ahead and try to figure out how to wait to seal the mids up and probably put a very small um, port in it to go ahead and get the best experience from the speakers, man. But for now, let's go ahead and put these bad boys in my truck and see what they do. We have an Eminence Delta 10 inch right here. We have the 10 inch PRV Alto right here. This is what we really find out what this Alto does with some real deal power. Uh, there is a 1800 watt amp for just uh, four tens in my truck. Uh, crossovers are set amp gains are set, EQ set, uh, there are no excuses here, we're going to put some real deal power on it. Uh, there's some good vocals come out of both of these guys, uh, but we're going to actually really find out what this Alto does next to another 10 inch mid, man, let's do it. So my honest, honest, honest opinion, guys, uh, we just heard both of them playing uh, the same power with the crossover set, EQ set, um, amp set, and everything. This guy was loud, uh, but this guy was pretty much volume-wise, it was on its same level, but you could actually hear more of a thump, you know, deeper vocal coming out of this guy versus this guy. Um, they were neck and neck, don't get me wrong. Um, but this guy would just had that strong, rich, deep vocal coming out of it. You see what I'm saying? Uh, with the right amount of power, man. You know, both of them were up there, you know, uh, neck and neck like a racing. But, you know, this one stood out a little bit more just because, man, that that mid-bass, that it's not even a mid-bass speaker, um, that vocal was just like a grown man talking. You see what I'm saying? Versus, you know, a teenage kid. Brought on today's video, we did a free air test, we did a test with the box, and now we actually went ahead um, and did a real life test 
uh, on the door panels itself. Inclusion on the speaker, um, it's a very good speaker, uh, very loud speaker, very well built uh, with a brand that it is, you know, phenomenal right now. Um, they got a good foundation. Um, they know which direction they're going um, and people are buying this brand like crazy and you know the 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 work speaks for itself uh, we heard it today so we're gonna go ahead and give this the mouse seal of approval definitely subscribe to the channel uh, we're probably like a week away from hitting the big AK don't forget we are on the road to 10k subscribers man uh, subscribe to the channel man drop the speaker emoji tag PRV and we're gonna keep on grinding guys you guys could win those sundown subwoofers and many more car audio products man but for now man we're gonna go ahead and call it quits get some PRVs and we'll catch you guys on the next one peace